Today's passage is one of the favorite that I have in the scriptures. Actually, it's found in my favorite Bible book in the Old Testament, in the book of Ecclesiastes, or the preacher's book. And it's found in chapter 9, verse 9. We read there, Enjoy life with the wife whom you love all the days of your vain life that he has given you under the sun, because that is your portion in life and in your toil at which you toil under the sun. It starts with a command, enjoy life. You know, God has created everything so that we will rejoice and enjoy in our lives. He does not want us to be sullen and sad and always frustrated and living in stressful situations from one pain to another, from one loss to another, from one failure to another. No, God wants us to enjoy life. And that's why in this verse we read that we should enjoy our lives. But one specific area in which we should enjoy our life is the area in our relationship with our wife. It says, enjoy life with the wife whom you love. God wants you to enjoy your life together with your wife. He wants you to love that wife, to create fun experiences for her and for you, uh, to share your joys, to share your good moments and, and bad moments, difficult moments. He wants you to really have time with your wife. Many men, before they marry, they're so excited about their bride or their bride uh, groom. You know, they have all the time, all the time in the world to spend with that future spouse. And, and they call on the phone and talk endlessly and, and then are able to write letters and think constantly when they're at home. What is she doing there? How is she doing? How can I show her? The and then he can't wait to meet her and hug her and kiss her and, and say, I love you. It's so important to him to spend more time and then to write love notes and to express his love to her so that she can be attracted to him as well and that she will know that he really cares and he really loves her. But when men marry, it seems all of that affection, all of that enthusiasm, all of that excitement about spouse slowly starts diminishing. Uh, one year or two years into the marriage, three years already, they seem to be having enough of each other. They talk less and less. They want to spend time less and less. You know, the word here, love, it's also not only a love that you have for a woman like another person, but also as a person that you make love with, uh, to hug her, to kiss her, to caress her, to tell her that you love her, that she's special. She's the only person with whom you want to make love in this world. And she needs to feel that special sense that she felt before you married her. You remember how she felt at that time? She too wanted to spend her time with you. She too would dress up and, and would think about you. She too would like to talk with you. She too wanted to spend time with you. That's what should happen now that you're married. It says here, you know, enjoy the life, enjoy life with the wife whom you love all the days of your vain life that he has given you under the sun. You know, he doesn't say all the years and enjoy it once a year when anniversary date comes or when her birthday comes or on special occasions when you go on holidays or on the weekend. No, it says all the days of your life. God wants you to express love and to enjoy your wife each and every day of your life. She should actually be the priority of your life. She should be the most important person in your life. Not even your job, not even your children or your parents, but your wife. She should be the queen of your heart and queen in your house. You should treat her with utmost respect, honor and love and care. And she should sense that, that she really matters to you, that her opinion, her feelings, her ideas, she matters to you. 
It says here that that should happen all the days of your life. It sh nothing should take precedence. No sh nothing should be more important. And this is not just for the benefit of the wife, even though that is our duty as husbands to love our wives and to enjoy them. Based on these scriptures, that's what he wants us to do. If you and I want to obey God, we can't say we are obeying God and we are living our lives with our spouses in a negative way, always criticizing our wife, wanting to get rid of her or wanting to get away from her or uh, really dishonoring her, yelling or screaming at her. That's not pleasing to God. We can't please God that way. We can't say we are Christians and we are doing those things. A Christian should not do that. A Christian should follow what Christ says, what God's Word says. And this Word says that we should enjoy our life with our spouse and we should love them. And it is to happen all the days of their lives. As I said, that's not just for her benefit, but for ours as well. Look what it says here. Because that is your portion in life and in your toil at which you toil under the sun. In other words, that is your part. From all the labor that you do, the work that you do, year in, year out, month in and month out, week in and week out, day in and day out, all the hours that you spend at work. It's not really the paycheck that is your reward. It's not really the paycheck that is your portion, but it's your wife. The purpose of that paycheck is to spend time with your wife, with your family, with God, not just to have more money. So she, it says in the scriptures, is your portion, is your reward. And that's all the blessings that you are going to have. There are no greater blessings for you as a man than the blessings of the time you spend with your own wife in loving and enjoyable experiences for both of you. That's your reward. There is no other reward in getting a bigger car or a bigger house. Your wife didn't marry you just to have a castle or more things. Even if you had all those things and she didn't have you, it wouldn't mean anything to her. She needs you. You are her castle and she is your reward. It's not the castle, it's not the car. It's not a praise of other men or achievements that you can achieve in this world, but it is your time of love and enjoyment with your spies while you are on this earth. That's the only reward you have. That's the best reward, according to the scripture. If you want to really see the balance of life, and that's what, why I like the book of Ecclesiastes, because it really gives you a balance to life. It tells you what is proper proportion, to be balanced is to enjoy your life with your wife, to love her, and to see her as a reward from God, as, a, as the most important gift after salvation to you in this life. So if you haven't done today, please call your wife, or when you see her, tell her you love her. Write a little love note and give it to her. She will remember it for years. She might even put it on the fridge, like my wife does. Kiss her. Hug her. Think about how much you appreciate her, how much you value her, how important she is to you, and say it to her. Say, dear, I love you very much. I appreciate you very much. You are very, very valuable to me. I praise God for you. And then hug her and tell her, how much you love her, how this life makes really sense because she's there with you. Bless your wife today. Love her and enjoy her.